What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They make gaming chairs, office chairs. I will have all their information linked down in the description below. Infinity Ward and Activision have released the patch notes for the day one patch of the game. This is everything that they fixed from the beta until, of course, today on launch day. There's a lot of information in this. I will link it down in the description below if you would like to read over it for yourself. I'm going to go over a good bit of it. I'm not going to go into detail about everything, so the video is not going to be 15 minutes long. I'm going to try to keep it short and as quick as possible, but also as informative as possible. But the first thing they talked about was spawning in core multiplayer. They did adjust the spawn logic and fixed edge cases, uh, edge case scenarios with spawning on enemies. Now in ground war, they added more fallback spawns in the uh, if the flag has too many enemies, improved safety checking for spawning on squad mates, added a spawning uh, added spawning on uh, squad mates in vehicles. Also, uh, neutral tanks and helicopters will now show on the spawn selection screen. Helicopters now also have flares to help manage incoming missiles. And if all flags are captured by one team, you'll go into DEFCON to win. So protect those flags. It seems like they're trying to get rid of that whole idea of everybody just capping all the flags on ground war and pretty much spawn trapping the other team for the entire game. Now it seems like if those flags are all capped, you will just pretty much win when it goes into that kind of DEFCON mode. Also, they fixed an exploit in ground war where players were getting under the map. That is no longer... Uh, that you can no longer do that in game. They said they've lightened up the game a lot, bright, brightened characters in dark areas across many maps. Now I have been watching some people that have early access to stream this, and the lighting looks a lot better in the game than it did in the beta. They said they did some in general kind of weapon balance, but some weapons received a lot of love, notably the shotguns and pistols. So they may have made these a bit stronger. They did not really state what kind of changes they made just yet, but it seems like those shotguns and pistols will be a bit better than they were in the beta. And that's probably a good thing because the pistols were just kind of decent, in my opinion, in the beta compared to the 2v2 alpha. Enemy claymores now have a larger visible uh, lasers. During the beta, it was hard to see claymores. Now it should be a little bit easier to see these. Uh, the one thing that I found very interesting that they did change from the beta of course, you know the mini-map does not show up. Uh, in core, you do not show up on the mini-map when firing your weapon. But now that's also the option in Ground War. So now, by default, across all core multiplayer modes and Ground War, enemy firing does not show up on the mini-map unless the team has a UAV active. So just keep that in mind. You're going to have to learn to use that mini-map. And, of course, the compass is still going to be at the top of the screen. Also, the map zoom has been pulled out a bit to help with player awareness. I did feel that the map, uh, the mini-map was zoomed in way too much. It was kind of hard to tell what buildings were where and where you were exactly on that mini-map because it was so zoomed in. Now, hopefully, that's going to look a little bit better. They fixed some issues with the VTOL shooting people inside of buildings through the roofs. Uh, some other, just a few other tweaks to some of the kill streaks. And also, they fixed the issue when after firing a cruise missile, sometimes your player was stuck in that position after using that cru cruise missile after you came out of the animation or the animation screen of that cruise missile. Uh, screen tearing and weapon models on Xbox have been improved, fixed a couple bugs for showing wrong input for players in the party, and adjusted the descriptions in the gunsmith. Now that was everything for just, you know, kind of in general gameplay overall on all platforms. Now they do have some PC specific fixes, uh, crouch and prone transition fixes, ADS sensitivity options. Uh, can now be uh, saved when using a keyboard and mouse. Double tapping the sticks now allows uh, allows triggers and tactical sprint when using a game pad on PC. Fix the blurriness on uh, on PC in certain situations. Added depth depth of field option and graphic options. HDR support, NVIDIA highlight support in multiplayer, global performance improvements, and stability fixes. Uh, ADS trans uh, ADS uh, animations and other things have been smoothed out, smoothed out for better FPS, and also field of view sliders uh, setting reverted to default after loading into the map. So all this stuff has been fixed specific for PC. Now they did talk about, you know, kind of how connections were on PC. I find it interesting that they really did not talk about connections on console. That was one thing they said they were going to discuss before the game was released. That does not look like we're going to get any information about that, but hopefully. The connection problem people were having on console has been worked out. Of course, the game's going to have a load of people playing in the next few days, uh, you know, day in and day out. Of course, people will be downloading, coming on at different times. And it's going to be 
a good bit of stress on these servers, so we could expect to have some bad connections for a few days. If we do, hopefully this will get fixed quickly. It will not be something that lasts for a long period of time. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these patch notes. Were the things that you were worried about or the things that you you know, had issues with in the beta, were those addressed within these patch notes? Like I said, they're listed down in the description below if you'd like to read over them for yourself. And of course, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And also, if you have the chance to share the video, it does help out the channel a lot. Click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.